Welcome back guys. Uh, how's it going? Alright, in this video we'll try to uh, we'll try to um, expand this functionality where we can view the crash projects and we can we can restore them uh, or we can actually delete them forever. And to do so, we have to give two buttons and let's open up our editor. And let's go back to uh, trashed trash dot blade dot php which is going uh, going to be this one inside projects and here we have three buttons which we copy pasted from the home dot blade and essentially these buttons uh, we'll have to change them so we'll need to figure out the routes where we'll be targeting those buttons to and we need to uh, we need to create them so let's get rid of this button because we don't need three buttons, we only need two. And the next thing we want to do is with both of them, we're going to create delete request. So let's just copy this. It's going to be a delete request to, to the controller. And then which method we're firing here? Well, here it's going to be delete forever. Um, delete forever. Now, if I... This is a this is a little bit of um, um, you have to understand what we're trying to do here because I could fire this to delete method directly. The problem is that if you go in your uh, route list, you'll see there is a method called project slash projects key where you can specify a particular project with its slug or ID or any other classification, and you can delete it. But the problem is this only applies to projects that are not soft deleted. But in our case. Um, this is not a usual project. If you go to sidebar, you, you will notice that you can't really see this project. It only shows other two projects which are, uh, which are currently active. This is a hidden project. It has a date stamp, um, a date uh, property in its database columns called deleted at, which is set to null. That's why we don't see it here. So when you try to run this method, um, that's okay because I just made some changes in the in the in the file and that's why it's not able to detect we haven't really registered this route or created this method in the controllers so that's okay so if I try to send this to this method I can't really do so because these these this instance will be excluded from the query that's the whole point of soft deleted uh, soft deleting a model when you soft delete a particular model a particular particular set of result set or data Essentially, what you're saying to Laravel is don't include this in your query. So when I try to run delete method, uh, the usual resourceful method delete, it's not going to, it, it cannot find this project because it's a soft deleted project. So we're going to have to create a separate method called delete forever. And here we're going to call restore, just a, uh, just a normal restore. Previously, in the previous video, we created restore all. Okay, never mind that's what we're going to do and now here we're going to include we're gonna to have to provide a button that will that has a name of restore and that has a name of delete to be able to fire this form and talk to the uh, server so in our partials forms we have this form called delete dot blade that's what we're going to use here partials forms and we're gonna call it delete and it has a variable called submit text button if you go inside you'll see it has a variable called a submit text button and we can just call this one restore and he exactly same thing and we're going to call it uh, delete so we still need to pass in this slug because when you query a soft deleted model you can use you can build a query using eloquent because eloquent is using uh, a trait soft deletes in our in our eloquent model here we are using a soft delete trait so when you say in your controller method you're going to say give me the models with trashed it's going to run this trait and it's going to still proceed with its usual thing and these are our buttons if you refresh your browser you won't be able to see anything we haven't created the the routes in the in the so let's go to and the routes.php and here we're going to create two methods 
one will be restore and another one will be delete forever and let's just create them here or here even so I'm going to create it here it's going to be two of them so both of them will have delete uh, delete request time they will have this key this is a bit of a problem I'm, I'm going to show you how and restore and this is going to be delete forever so delete forever and we're going to call the controller method the same name okay the the, the challenge really here is that this key really doesn't work for this method because this is essentially we are binding we are binding the projects like we are doing a route model binding here the route model binding what we are doing here really means we are binding the currently active projects with the um, request but we are not really binding the projects with which have been trashed so we are going to have to add another another uh, binding with a different key and that's the key we're going to be using so we're going to say here trash projects let's say uh, we we'll just call it lowercase trashed projects where there's a value in this and give me all the projects which um, only trashed give me all the projects only trash where slug value is first and that that way it can find uh, if the key is trash project it's going to run this binding and it's going to get get us the trash projects and then we're gonna have to use this key in in here uh, here and here that way we can run these two methods because the key is different we can't use projects key because that that's the usual uh, usual uh, route model binding for the usual key and usual model the model that that has um, the query of this model basically it's going to f what this means is it's going to find the projects where the slug value is first but not not with this criteria where only the trash or with trash it doesn't understand that it's going to exclude those those models so we're going to need two different kind of keys two different kind of search query that's okay you'll see how it works it took me a little while to figure out this one because um, if you just want to delete something soft delete and never bring it back or bring them all back at once it's easy but when you want to bring them back like individually you're going to have to pass in the instance which means you cannot really trigger uh, you can't really trigger route model binding for this because it's it's going to exclude it so how you find that particular instance you create a new key you bind it and you run this kind of search find this model where the slug value is this but only trashed or with trashed so next thing we're going to do is create the controller method which is going to be this here now here we have hide let's just copy this for a second and we're gonna just paste it right here and we're gonna call it restore and we're gonna pass in an instance of the project and we're gonna say here project after it queries the project because we have a special key for that so we're gonna restore it and once we restore it we can go back to let's say we're going back to um, here remove this so we're going back to projects trashed on the same page basically so on the same page we can um, we can we can restore them and let's refresh this if it understands a little bit it 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 works now so if we restore it it's going to remove it and it won't display here but we'll still stay on the same page because we may want to restore more of them so we're going to say re success project name has been successfully restored and the next thing i want to do is create another method for uh, permanent delete and how that delete will work is essentially uh, copy this 
we're going to call it delete forever. So delete forever will pass in the instant and all we have to do is call because this model is already queried from trash so you don't need to say only trash or with trash just call it force uh, force delete and that will uh, force delete it and we can say we are going back to the trash with success it has been successfully removed successfully deleted yeah that's one and that will do that this way we can delete forever this is the controller methods now one thing we need to do because we have changed this key this particular key we'll have to update this key in in our forms uh, or maybe we don't because we're we not using a, a um, we're not using a route or we're not using a URL so we're using an action so we don't need to do that it's going to automatically figure out from the routes so that's fine and so let's see and test it out see if it works to do that let's go back to projects and hide all of them So now I have three projects hidden and let's go inside them and see if we can restore. Let's do the restore first and then the delete. So let's restore uh, number three. And it looks like it works. So now we have only uh, two projects available to be restored. And if you open our sidebar, we can see the guitar lessons has become a usual credit project. Now let's let's restore swimming lessons, and once it's restored, it should be visible in the in the usual query. So with that, if I do here, it's 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 visible, and it's visible. And now I can go back to the projects, and I should see two projects. They are not hidden, and I can go back to trash. So what if I want to delete them? Uh, let's bring more of them here. Hide. And hide again. And go to trash. So delete will essentially remove the model completely. It won't be visible in our database anymore. So let's delete, uh, let's see it in this gibberish, delete. So once I delete it, it should come back to the same page. And before I do anything, I want to go back to da my database and just refresh the. I haven't refreshed it yet, but you sh we shouldn't see this ID two. And it's gone, so it doesn't exist anymore. That's the good news. And um, we'll keep them. We won't delete them, but uh, it looks like it's working, so that's fine. So we can go back to the projects. So that concludes everything we wanted to do with our projects in the next video we'll be working on tasks and subtasks and expanding our application most of the features we can really uh, copy them uh, most of the code we can copy because all it is is the relationships that we have to figure out and basically projects will be called task and tasks will be called subtask so we'll have to add show method so we can click on the project and it displays the description Let's just restore them back and leave just one so I can see that button. If at least one is hidden, this button is visible. Okay, never mind. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video.